I'm going to talk about a very important topic I would say is the weight in women and also in men actually. Weight is a very important factor in uh, predicting the success rate and also uh, the prognosis of having a child. Uh, as you know, obesity is becoming very, very common nowadays because of uh, sedentary lifestyle, uh, unhealthy uh, dietary habits and lack of exercise. So this year, uh, we have to change everything so that you have to be fit and well before you conceive. Uh, obesity actually, uh, it's going to, uh, first of all, uh, it takes longer time to conceive. Someone, you are, your friend is very slim and you are very uh, obese. So the chance of, con she conceives quickly than you. That, that, that's how it is. So obese woman takes a bit longer to conceive. Second thing, she has a slightly higher risk of uh, having a miscarriage when compared to other women. And uh, uh, um, when you go for any fertility treatment, again, uh, the fertility rate is uh, reduced, especially regarding to the implantation. The implantation rate is significantly goes down with the, with the uh, increased weight. So uh, if you go for fertility treatment, you know, you need uh, 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 more medicines, you need more hormonal injections for the eggs to grow, you need to come frequently for the scans to monitor the follicle growth um, and the cost of the treatment will go up uh, with the weight. So uh, weight is a very important factor and uh, implantation, subsequent implantation rate success rate also is less in obvious women than compared to other women. So they say nearly even the success can come down to even for 30 to 50 percent reduction in the success rate when you compare IVF women, the normal women and the high IVF women. So BMI nowadays it is, uh, they say it used to be 25 but nowadays for Asian women it is 23. So you have to be, uh, you know, slim and fit before you conceive. And it's not with the, uh, not about just uh, conceiving. If you conceive, then again the risk, as I told you, high risk of miscarriage. There is a two to four times risk of getting a blood pressure and two to four times risk of getting uh, diabetes in pregnancy. If you get diabetes in pregnancy, you have to take insulin four times a day and you have to prick four times to check your sugar and also prick four times to take insulin. So it's very important that you know uh, 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 that these medical disorders get more common if the weight is more and again the your, your, the rate of premature delivery is more common you deliver very early uh, in uh, uh, if, the, if the woman is obese and also more chance of cesarean more chance of infection more chance of wound gaping and more chance of bleeding during pregnant during pregnancy and during delivery and after delivery so it's very very important that you know you maintain a healthy lifestyle lose your weight before you conceive. For men, again it's very important. The men is uh, obese, so uh, a lot of uh, fat around the abdomen, the tummy. So uh, the estrogen level will go up and uh, um, temporarily they feel less, lib the libido reduces, the, you know, the libido interest in the sex goes down and uh, they have more erectile dysfunction when compared to uh, other men. They have erection problem during intercourse. And uh, third is, uh, um, the count also can drop down significantly because uh, the testosterone, the estrogen will become more prominent and uh, uh, the testosterone will be relatively low when compared to estrogen. So the testicular uh, sperm production will also come down. And also with a very obese woman, they have uh, practical coital uh, problems are uh, uh, when the weight of both the couple or one couple is more. So in brief, weight loss again is very important and uh, try to lose weight and be healthy before you consume. I hope this information is very useful to you. Thank you.